we have a six letter word n a t u r e nature and we want to find all two letter words that can be formed using the letters of the word nature pause the video try this out okay let's do this together so a two letter word one and two two letters how could we fill the first place we have six different letters so this can be done in six ways we can pick any one of them and if we pick one we'll have five left so the next place can be filled in five ways 6 times 5 is 30 ways which means the answer is 30 we can form 30 two letter words using the letters of the word nature all right but if you think about it we're actually doing two tasks first we're selecting two letters out of these six and then we're arranging those selected two letters for example suppose we select these two letters u and t in how many ways can we arrange them we can have ut as our two letter word or we can have tu as our two letter word and we know that if we have two distinct letters we can arrange them in two factorial ways so for every selection for every combination of two letters we have two factorial arrangements but the question in front of us is how many combinations do we have how many ways to do this particular task if you only have to select two letters and not worry about arranging how many ways can we do this Pause the video. Think about it. Okay, so we can use this and here. And means multiply. So whatever is the answer for this question, this times two factorial should give us the total number of ways. That's thirty. That's six times five. Does this make sense? We are doing two tasks. We are selecting and arranging. If we do them together, we have six times five, thirty ways. But if we do them step by step, if we first select and then arrange. we have these two tasks we don't know how many ways to do this task but we do know in how many ways to do this particular task arranging two letters so let's visualize this we start with a six letter word nature and we end with a two letter word using the letters of the word nature there are two ways to reach from start to our finish line we can either do both the steps together we can select and arrange two letters or we can do this step by step we can first select two letters and we need to figure out how many combinations do we have here and then for each selection of two letters we can arrange that to form our two letter word if we do this directly we have 6 times 5 that's 30 ways what about this step if we have two letters and we want to arrange them we can do that in two factorial ways and this is what we need to figure out in how many ways we can select two letters out of six given letters and because we are doing this step and this step this means that this question mark times 2 factorial should be equal to 6 times 5 that's 30 so what do we get we have question mark equals to 6 times 5 by 2 factorial that's 30 by 2 that's 15 ways this means there are 15 combinations of two letters if we start with six letters let's see what those combinations are let's list down all the combinations if we select the first two letters we have n a we have n t we have n u and so on we have these 15 selections here the order does not matter we're not actually forming words right now we're just selecting two letters so this is one selection the letter n and the letter a this is one selection n a this is another one t r and so on we have these 15 combinations 15 selections of two letters what about the number of arrangements well if we arrange these letters to form a word one word could be n a itself another one could be an we can flip the order these are two different words na and an similarly here we have nt as a word and tn as another word and for each of them we have two words here we have 15 times 2 that's 30 possible arrangements that's the answer that we got in the beginning 6 times 5 that's 30 15 times 2 is also 30 so this is how we can figure out the number of combinations let's try one more we have n a t u r e and we need to find all three letter words that can be formed using the letters of the word nature pause the video try this out so we need to form three letter words 1 2 3 three letters the first letter can be filled in six ways six different letters then we have 5 and then we have 4 6 times 5 times 4 that's 120 ways now if we do this step by step we first select three letters and we then arrange each selection of these three letters we arrange three letters 
for every selection we have three factorial ways of arranging them this means if you have to figure out the number of ways to do this task just selecting three letters out of six different letters this can be done in 120 by 3 factorial ways 120 by 6 that's 20 so this can be done in 20 ways let's try one more n a t u r e how many ways to select four letters pause the video try this out let's do this together so we're just looking for number of ways to select four letters this is equal to if we do these things together select and arrange divided by the number of ways of arranging each four letter word let's write this down the number of ways of selecting four letters out of these six letters is equal to the total number of words that we have four letter words that we have divided by the number of ways to arrange a four letter word and we know how to find both of these the number of four letter words that's 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 and in how many ways can we arrange a four letter word for example if the word is n a t u natu how many ways to arrange this word we have four different letters which means this can be done in four factorial ways so this will give us the answer of this question in how many ways can we select four letters out of these six let's simplify this four factorial is 24 6 times 4 is also 24 so this cancels out 5 times 3 is 15 so this is equal to 15 ways so we have 15 combinations of four letters out of these six letters and how many words do we have that's 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 that's 15 times 4 factorial for every combination we have four factorial arrangements so 15 times 4 factorial that's the number of four letter words we have in this case the order does not matter because we're just selecting but in this one because we're actually forming the words the order does matter